Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the man with a cat, Stephen Pearl. <laughs> got, got your kitty there. Show him the kitty. Show him the kitty. Show him, show him, your, puss, show him your pussy. Show him your pussy. He's one of them. Got yeah. three pussies. That, that's Muddy. That's Muddy Waters. Yeah. And mm. what's, the other one na- what's the other one named? That's Muddy Waters is his name. No, but what's the other name of the other one? Oh, the other two are Siam and Nishi. Nishi's the one who lost an eye. Siam's the brother who put it out. Oh, really? No. Yep. Really? They're either cuddling or fighting, one or the other. They're brothers. What do you do? Oh, boy. Uh, so yeah, what do you do? I'm like the father of like the Brady Bunch with cats here. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice. And I imagine Siam is a Siamese. Siam is a Siamese, and Isius is brother who's a tabby, because I think they had different fathers with the same mother. It's like that second episode of the Maury show. Are they all Are they all males? Yeah, they're all boys. Yeah, because you, you, know, you don't want to have a female Siamese. No, no, uh, no, because no. I love Siamese cats. They're my yeah. favorite cat of all time. They have a great nature. They have a great way of being. They're very uh, loyal. You know, yeah. they like they like more like a dog than a cat by nature. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, I had a female as well, and she was the meanest, nastiest. <laughs> you know, and she and she ran the house too. She just yeah. ran all the other cats. Sure, you know. Sure, these, are, these guys boss me around. I'm their bitch, and I have no problem with it. So. In fact, uh, uh, she she was so mean that one time another cat came into the house, and the other cats are kind of cool. Oh, look, another cat came into the house, right? She goes fucking crazy. <laughs> and what does she do? Does she attack that cat? No. She goes over to the other male cats and starts hitting them with her paw. <laughs> like, go get them. <laughs> Boom, go get them. Boom! Whoa! What a coach! And she had a she had a right hook on her. I couldn't oh, believe man. it. She could she could just knock another cat out with it. Holy crap! Yeah, they were like turn touch and boom. Nastiest cat I ever had. She just, have a male Siamese, but he's kind of the brat of the family. He's he's he's, he's cool, but he's a cat. The other two are more like dogs, so it's a little opposite here. Yeah, it's a bizarre world here. Yeah, but uh, good mate. I love them all. You could have you could have come up with a better name for a Siamese cat than Siam. That when Nina came up with Siam and Nishi, and I came up with Muddy Waters. Talk to her. Talk to the lady. Because, Talk to the lady. I mean, I mean, it's obvious she the cat is Siamese. So you give it some kind of uh, Asian name. Like I had yeah. one, I had a one Siamese cat. Like once. <laughs> oh, one Siamese cat I named Mao. Uh, uh-huh. M A O. I just did it I because I wanted to piss everybody off. Yeah, and, Mao. and and Mao, we got his name because we asked him, "What's your name?" And he went, "Mao." Mao. Okay, that had nothing to do so, with politics. It was just Mao. Mao. Okay. And the other one said, "Nah, true, I'm lying." Right. Yeah. And then I had another one I named Shabbos. Shabbos, a Jewish cat or Chinese cat? Can they live together? No, he was a Siamese cat. Them. He was a Siamese cat, but I named him Shabbos because we got him on a Saturday. Oh, okay. And the the mean one we got on a, something like Yum Kipper or something like that. We named her Yuntiv. Wow. People don't understand what I'm saying if they're not Jewish. Shabbos yeah. is the Sabbath. Yantav is a holiday. It's just a holiday. Know Any Pimp holiday. Is the name of Christ, Christ the cat. He has yeah. If it's New Year, you go to somebody and say, uh, you know, happy, uh, good Yantav. Good Yantav. So her name was Yantav, and she was just the meanest. Oh, she was wow. just a bitch. Uh, you know, I, I, she was such a bitch, I went, did I date her once? <laughs> Another life crazy. Yeah. You know how old I'm getting? Very old. You remember when this, this when happened to me the other day? Was so yeah, De- right, Debbie Durst is going through her pictures, her photographs, and she finds a photograph of Will and me at the Phoenix Hotel having a par- at a party. And there's a woman sitting next to me. And I 
couldn't recognize the woman. I said, who the hell is that? What, did I date her? What, who is she? And I write Debbie and say, who is she? She says, I don't know. I just found these pictures. And I'm looking at the picture. I'm looking at it. And all of a sudden, I realize it's the woman I went with for 11 years. <laughs> who is that little girl? Who is that other age yeah. old minx? And, and, and uh, uh, the reason I think I didn't recognize her is because she was kind of a tomboy. So she didn't wear makeup a lot. Uh -huh. Um, but she didn't need to, okay? Especially at that age, she was 18 when I first started going oh, out with her. Bah, 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 so she couldn't, okay? Uh, uh, she, she didn't have to, you know, you're a kid, right? But she was wearing makeup that night, and I didn't recognize her in this photograph. Wow. Because she, well, was, she was so glammed up. She was so gorgeous looking. I'm going, you know, nobody like that would have anything to do with me. I don't know who she is. Uh -huh. So anyway, um, that, that, I, that's I how, that's how old I'm variety. getting, that I can look at a picture of a woman I went with for 11 years and say, who's that? Right. Yeah. yeah, I look at a picture. Who's that, James Knox Polk? No, that's me in 82. Holy crap. Did you ever get married? No. You never got married? No. Okay, so you're like yeah. my, my friend Shecky. He never got married either. No, I and my hair and, and I, I identify <laughs> these people as not being married, and then you go, well, they're that old, they must be gay. And no, neither of these people are gay in any way. They just, just <laughs> they were smarter than I was. I got married four times. Yikes. I, 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 you know, I've had a long-standing crush on Billy the Wolf. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> wife number uh, wife number one, I, I just refer to her as what's-her-name. What's-her-name? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think her name was Linda. Yeah. Wife number two is known as the plaintiff. And, <laughs> I, I, and I married her because, uh, you want to know why I married her? Uh, because money. This, money, is, money, this money, is the money. perfect story of my life. Um, she got pregnant. Oh, you have to. It, in those days, it, it was the right thing to do, right? Yeah, right so do. I take her meant. I take her up to Reno, Nevada, and we get uh -huh. married. Okay? All right? You got this so far? Yep. Our wedding night, she has a miscarriage. <laughs> uh, that marriage wasn't meant to last. Yeah, the baby was half Chinese or something. Yeah. So that was my story. There you go. Well, too late now. You're in. Yeah. You're in the club again. So I, no, I never, uh, I never uh, met the woman whose farts I wanted to smell for the rest of my life. So, uh, uh, this, uh, yeah. I, I was kind of married to Nina. We lived together for like 10 years, but she's in California due to health reasons. And I'm here due to hopefully working again. So, uh, What do you mean health reasons? Was it? She, had, she can't breathe the air here for some reason. It fucks her up. She ended up in the emergency ward three times, like every time she came. But here. isn't that desert air? It was. It's. I don't know what it is. Desert air, and it wasn't good for her. She couldn't breathe. So the ambulance had to come for her. Wow. So uh, sucks. So I'm here, and I'm not going to live in California again. I'm not in California. It's too expensive and too fucked up. So and there's oh, really uh, no California, California. Uh, you, you know, you enter the state, you got to put a mask on immediately. Oh, it's horrible. You got to go with the quarantine and stick toothpicks in your eyes and fucking... I can't remember who it is. You know, we had an incredible amount of um, of cases here in New York. We The deaths, I think, have totaled 35,000. Wow. Now, now, most of those were prior, yes. prior to, say, March, April, because then we did all the lockdowns and everything, and we brought it down to one day when we had zero deaths in the state of New York. Oh, wow. That's like, death that takes a holiday. Uh, but we were we still held the record for the number of deaths because it also hit us before it hit anybody else, and we yeah. weren't prepared for it. We didn't know how to handle it. You yes. know? And we were taking CDC guidance, which is like taking guidance from Trump, and that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it, 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 it was a real See? problem. Real problem, oh. and uh, uh, but but then the death stopped. Then we didn't yeah. have all those deaths. We're now up to about we have about 160 a day now during this surge. All right, right. Uh, but what happened was is that we 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 uh, uh, we're way behind ahead of everybody. 
Now it looks like I think Texas is up to like twenty five thousand or something. You're saying California is up. They're all coming close to catching up to us. Yeah, they may wow. actually overtake us if they don't do Die something hard. fast. Yeah, but you know these people. They, don't, hmm? they might be the end of days. We might live to see the end of the world. Who knows? Well, you know it's important. I think that you you. Uh, uh, do what you got to do to prevent do this thing from spreading. I put the mask on. When I'm in my house, I don't put the mask on. Yeah, I mean, so what? You know, of course, you don't have to. But the point is, I'll tell you what, I got to tell people. I mean, th this is where you got to be safe. The person who's going to be the worst, the, the, the person who's going to give you the infection the most is somebody you know and somebody who's a relative. Because I just had a friend's mother die because the daughter used to come over every three days and give her mother a sponge bath. Uh -huh. And I imagine when she came over, she didn't, you know, and then one night she went home and she called her brother and said, I, I feel sick. I think I better get a COVID test. She took it and she had COVID. Okay. Wow. Then the whole family got it. And what aye, happened aye, aye. was you go into your house. Okay. This is your home. This is the home you were raised in. Okay. Uh -huh. Your mother who's the safest, most nurturing person in the world. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you don't think you're gonna you're gonna give anybody anything or get anything from somebody. Right, right. And in that that atmosphere, you take the mask off and you do what you got to do. It's only natural, but that's the thing that could kill somebody. And that's why I right. say to everybody, no matter how safe you think it is, if you're going into another environment, wear a mask. Exactly, you know it's there. So and you're not doing it. it for you. We don't care whether you die or not. We yeah, care about we whether that care. person you love. Dies or not. Right. Well, I'm lucky. All my relatives are dead, so I don't infect anyone I love. Oh. I don't like them anyway. Okay. Well, then go out and infect people you hate. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> Take that, you honkies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a good way for you to get even with your friends, folks. If you find out you have COVID, go just go around breathing in their faces. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, and I have sniffles today. This he's is, got it. He's got the disease. Get him. Hurt him. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. What it is is that I feel I'm playing a, 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 a Cuomo here just calls it a foot race. I'm playing. Yeah. I have a foot race against the disease. I'm trying to avoid it just long enough because it'd be a shame if I got it Friday and next uh -huh. Wednesday I get the vaccination. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want anything like that. I'm not going no, out. It's all the timing. It's all the timing. You know. Uh, and um, my, uh, my wife has been tested, so she doesn't wow. have it. So if he, she she's been tested and doesn't have it, I'm sure I don't. You know. There you go. Mm. But anyway, it's gonna it's uh, you know uh, you. But you, uh, if you were here in New York, you could get yourself a, a vaccination. Get my vaccine right in the arm. I've seen those needles on the news; they're going all the way. You know, I, 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 I have this problem. I have seen these kids on the Shriners ads. Have you seen the Shriners ads on TV? Yeah. The Shriners Hospital with the little kids going, "Please, oh, yeah. please help me!" Out. And it's, there's, I saw one there, and she says, "Please help," and she doesn't have any arms. Oh, nice. And I'm going, do they say to her, "Which arm would you like it in"? <laughs> you know. you could be a lefty or a righty. Yeah. What happens if you don't have an arm? Can they shoot it up your in your ass or can they? Yeah, one arm. That's it. You can put a half an arm on each side. Or can they put? They, I right. guess they could put it in your thigh or something like that. Right? In the middle of me. That way you can figure it out for yourself. What? Put it. Put the arm in the middle of me right here. So I'm not a lefty or a righty. Oh, oh right I see. There. Well, though that's what you get after you have the vaccine. Oh, you okay. Yeah. Another. You grow another arm. Grow another hand that doesn't have the same politics or disease. <laughs> Why is it everybody's afraid of vaccines or afraid of something? Says you know if that if you do that this is going to happen or that's going to happen. Nobody yeah. ever says I've heard you can grow two penises. You know you never hear that. And yeah, I don't know about you. Younger. Hey, sure. Give me give me some, give me more vaccines. No, I don't know about you, but oh, I, I could have one. I could have always used a spare. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two, huh? Yeah, a white yeah. man pissed yeah. with forked penis. Yes, you know, at times you go, this thing's getting a lot of work. I better stop. <laughs> you know, but okay, if you had two, you I go, well, I think yeah. I'll go, I'll go to the spare. Go to the spare, yeah, yeah. Get the pump. Yeah, and uh, the other business I thought of trying is that you know people when they get COVID get antibodies, so supposedly uh -huh. they can't give it to anybody else. 
And there are a lot of women out there right now who are climbing walls because they haven't been laid since uh, last <laughs> January, right? Yeah. So what you do is you start a prostitution service, hire a COVID uh, neutral uh, yeah, COVID, guy. Uh, this is a COVID yeah. free and zone. the guy COVID comes over and possible. services you because, well, he he can't give you COVID. There you go. Yeah, but I, it's a little late for me to start that business. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah, the brown floor is like, We've run out of time once again. Again already, my God. This is zip spy. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, mm -hmm. the attractive. We can't ask him where he's playing because he's not. Stephen Pearl. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you very much, boys and girls. It's always a pleasure to see you out there in Alex land. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, all right, okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? Here I am. I'm, I'm here, uh, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do a show for you, even though there's nobody listening to this goddamn thing. I don't know what it is. The audience levels are really low lately. Uh, maybe I should just give up. I, at times I think about just giving up on this, and then the only reason I don't is for the people who do it, you know, and uh, they like doing it, and... Uh, it it, it 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 takes no skin off my nose to uh, well unless I'm peeling, uh, to uh, uh, just do a show so they can have a place to gripe and talk and enjoy themselves and they seem to enjoy the process so, you know look at me I'm more than happy to accommodate you, um, although I did get depressed today I got really depressed I. I, I I went on uh, I, somehow audio. I could play audio things through my uh, my uh, um, TV set, and I found a whole bunch of files. And they were like files of my radio shows from San Francisco. And uh, I listened to one of them, and I started enjoying it, <laughs> and saying, "God damn it! I used to be good." Uh, I used to, I really had some pretty good chops back then. Yeah, I didn't think so. When I was doing it, I thought I sucked. But I listened back on them, <coughs> and I go, hey, I, um, you know, I'm feeling, I, you know, I, I wasn't bad, you know. But now I suck, so it doesn't matter. Where's my, uh, I, got, I got, I'm trying to find my, well, well, I'm reaching back here because I'm trying to find, oh, yeah, here it is. You hear them? There they are, cough drops. I need them. I don't know. I have a slight cough tonight. Uh, I've got, I got COVID. No, probably a result of the shot. You know what I heard, what I read today? I'm not looking forward to it. Shot number two is supposed to be terrible. <laughs> the second shot, you supposedly come down with uh, chills and fever, and uh, but uh, two days of, of real misery. And then you're okay. And then you feel great, and your, you know, your body is now ready to go out there and fight the virus. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to phase two, as it were. Uh, and um, what was it? I was there was one other thing I was just going to tell you, and then I forgot all about it. I was talking about phase two. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good today. The arm just hurts a little bit, just slightly sore. Not even. I think like somebody punched me. You know, or I bumped into a wall, and uh, it just uh, you know n nothing, nothing painful. So uh, nothing to worry about, folks. Listen, I would rather have uh, three days of a raging fever and sweats and vomiting and everything, if it means I'm not going to have COVID. I'm not going to get COVID. So uh, anything to yeah. You know. But anyway, oh oh, I know what I was going to say. I don't know about my wife, but when I go to sleep at night, I, I like to sleep, and then I wake up, and maybe at like about 8 o'clock, I got to take a pee, okay? Old guy, got to take a pee. I'm very lucky, though. Lately, I probably don't get up at all to take a pee, but this morning I did. And every now and then when I wake up and she sees I'm awake, she immediately hits me with some tragedy. This isn't working, or that isn't working, or whatever. Well, this morning was, oh, we got a real problem. We got a real problem. I said, what is it? She says, 
the dish with the uh, um, washer and dryer are leaking again because they were leaking and we spent about 400 bucks way back when to have some guy fix it and apparently it never got fixed but uh, we we learned if you turn the it on low uh it, it wouldn't get as uh you wouldn't would uh, we wouldn't get the flooding but today it was really bad so i had to call some guy and uh, he came in, and the other guy replaced a, uh, a, a pump. He replaced uh, a hose. Uh, he said that was what the problem was. And then it turned out that it wasn't because we started having leaks again. And so we called him, and he said, uh, well, I, it's not my, I'm, I don't have to come out there and refix it. And I go, well, gee, you know, you fixed it. You should stand by your, you know, your work. And uh, he said, I'm not coming out. I don't like you people because you're complainers. What? I, you know, you, you did something and it didn't work. Okay. So this guy comes out today and I, I paid him, uh, what was it? Uh, $63 and a membership to PULS, which is uh, something that comes in and fixes heart, uh, stuff in your home. And it says 20% off if you get something done. So. Uh, I figured I'll pay that, so I, I and then I gave him a tip. Uh, so it came to about 170 bucks today for this thing for him to come out and look at it. And he said, "Look," and he took a video with his, you know, with his iPhone. And he said, "I'm showing what, what's wrong. Here's where the leak is, and it's going down here. It's coming out of the tub, and uh, then it's, um, you know, it's going into this little kind of well, and then when it gets overflowing." Uh, it uh, comes flooding out onto your, onto your, uh, onto your floor. He said, and it's just it's a just a washer uh, that fits right under the tub. And we said, well, how much is that going to cost? He says, I don't know. The company's got to come up with a price. So they'll let you. We'll we'll let you know as soon as they come up with the price on it. He said, but it is a big job. He said because I got to remove the whole tub and the motor. In order to get to the washer, this little washer, right? So um, uh, we told him get us a price, and we'll do it. You know, we'll eat it. I figure it could cost me a thousand dollars, and and what? I've got a thousand dollars, and am I going to live forever? You know. So, but I wake up to that, and then of course I can't go back to sleep, and I took my happy pill last night, which is the uh, pregabalin. Pregabalin. It's a Jerry Lewis uh, drug, uh, pregabalin, and that makes me kind of woozy and puts me out. And then I wake up, and the first thing I get in, in this woozy state I'm in is her going, uh, we got a real problem here. So it was not the way to wake up. And then I, I stayed up. I couldn't get back to sleep. Then I fell asleep for about an hour, and then tonight I took about an hour nap. So I'm at least ready to do this. And which is push a button that says admit all, <clears throat> and we will bring in our uh, our panel of uh, people. There, here they come. There's Alan, and there's uh, Brian, and there's Charlie. I guess it's just us tonight, kids. I'm I'm listening to the rest of your story. Hold on. <laughs> oh, really? What? What part? Where Where were you into the story? I can tell you. I can repeat it for you. You're in the woozy state. After you, yeah, and and then Marjorie goes, oh, uh, this is you know we've got a real disaster here, and I'm going, okay, it's a real disaster, big fucking deal, you know. So yeah. so I was listening into you talking about your first guest, and uh, you married this woman because you made her pregnant. She miscarried on the night of on your my, wedding. Not, on my wedding. I mean, yeah. I mean, is that bad luck or what? I would have uh, jumped out. No, it's the a damn story. Of, what do you mean? It's a story of my fucking life. <laughs> you know, I only want. If you're on the fortieth floor of the hotel, you jump. It's done. Yeah. Well, you know, in those days <laughs> when a woman got pregnant, you married them. You know, that was just the thing to do. You were a gentleman, right, Jeff? Well, you never know because you didn't probably get anybody pregnant. But you know, uh, you don't. Your mic isn't on, by the way, Jeff. Um, uh, what were you going to? What now were you saying? What were you saying? You, know, like you, you never had that happen to you, right? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, we don't talk about that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Because somewhere out there, I've got, I have a son. I think. 
Well, Alex, Alex. Hmm? I have something to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's <not> Dad! <laughs> no, I, I, I found out who it, who, who it is, actually. Howard Stern. So, uh, <laughs> tell me that one, sir. No, uh, uh, I, this woman got pregnant. Ostensibly, she said, by me. You know, I assume that it was. In those days, we didn't have things like DNA tests and so on to tell who the father is and stuff like that. And uh, she gave it up for adoption. I never even saw the baby. She just immediately gave it up for adoption at birth. And I often wonder what happened to that son because I was 18 at the time. So what would that make this kid? Probably in his 60s, right? Yeah. 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 He could be one of us. You know, I mean, he could, he could conceivably be Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. You know, and Howard talks about all his little peccadillos and his emotional problems and so on. And I go, it's my son. You know, <laughs> I did. I did get in touch with the mother years later. And I, I, I she wrote me. She said, remember us? And I'm thinking, how can I forget? You know, you got pregnant by me and you had my son, okay? And uh, um, I said, of course I do. You had a very profound effect on me. And she said, how? And she, like, never would say anything about the pregnancy. We would write back and forth. It was all writing back and forth, never talking. And um, she just never, no matter how much I tried to drag it out of her, because I didn't want to drag it out of her. If she had some kind of repressed memory, and this is the way she was surviving, okay? So um, she wouldn't tell me that. But then she talked about her son. And she described him, said, I got a real problem with him. He's neurotic, and he's this, and he's that. I'm going, that's probably my kid. You know, because it has all the, the imprints of my DNA. I thought you said she put uh, him out for adoption. She's, uh, and, and he's bald. You know, well, she did Sounds put like a, Ted Cruz. I saw the uh, what happened was I knew it was a boy because I went to the her, her doctor's office to see what I could do about maybe adopting the kid or whatever. And he had her folder out in front of him. He left the office for a minute and I can read upside down. It's one of my lesser talents. And I could see that it was it was a boy. And in those days, they just gave it up for blind adoption. You, they, they muddied the track so you could never find the kid. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, at one point, I decided to try and find the kid. I had money, and I knew a guy who was a detective, and I was going to hire him to go out and see if he could find the kid. And uh, he went out. He, he, so I thought about it and thought about it. I was, I was very serious about it at one point. And then I made the decision I'm not going to. Uh, in fact, I even asked my audience what they thought. You know, I was always very honest with my audience and mm -hmm. telling them about my life and so on. And I just said, I've come to a decision not to. I said, and here's the reason why. Because, there, you know, suppose this kid doesn't know he was adopted. You know, the parents never told him that. Okay? Or maybe he did know he was adopted, but he really doesn't want to meet his father. You know, that it's his job to find me, not my job to find him. And that I might be doing the wrong thing by finding him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I mean, at, at these ages, it, I mean, there's no, you know, it's nice to know maybe, but it's more of a friendship after that than anything, you know. Yeah, well, it, this was, th that was then. And it was a whole different set of circumstances, you mm. know. I mean, um, but I often like to joke that my personality was so off-putting that the only woman I got illegitimately pregnant, she left town. <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah. So I guess nobody else is calling tonight, huh? Is this it? Looks like. Looks like. Well, you guys talk among yourself. Huh? What? Robert. Whatever happened to Robert? Where is Robert tonight? And where was he? He wasn't here last he night. Wasn't here last night. Yeah. Nope. You know, he's 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 anybody is capable of taking a couple of days off if they want to. You know. Okay. Thank you. Well, is, he, is he still <laughs> teaching? What? Is he still teaching? And I don't think he is. Did, did, did we get the idea that he was still teaching? 
Robert, call us up and tell us. Yeah, well, uh, then you can hang up. <laughs> I hope the next time he calls his show, he has a note from his mother. Oh, really? Yeah, after he went through all that with uh, Brian. <laughs> Did you, uh, you hear him the the press conferences, you know, uh, from his... Everything's nice and calm, transparent, sounds normal, which is bizarre for a while. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can take this normalcy. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Fauci, did you hear Fauci? He was like a young boy. Yeah, he talking. was. It was like he, he. It's like he had finally been released from prison. He was, and he was talking all medical stuff. When they, I actually thought it was pretty funny because they start asking him questions, you know, and he starts replying with all these long words and all these like medical terms when he's talking about this happening and this happening with the new strand. And I think I was just, I was laughing on the ride home because I can imagine these report, you know, they're going to try to scramble these words and figure out what he was actually talking about. Yeah. Well, he's the head of it now, isn't he? He's pretty mm -hmm. much been put in charge of uh, the, I don't think it's called a task force. That was Trump's yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, in fact, I don't think you're going to hear the term Operation Warp Speed very much longer. Nope. You know. Uh, uh, maybe maybe Operation Turtle's Pace, but not Operation Warp <laughs> Speed. Uh, are you supposed to get your shot still, Charlie? Yeah, I'm supposed to get it Saturday. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Deep in the heart of Texas. Yep. Uh, if they don't run out. Yeah, yeah they had uh, this uh, girl on my Facebook. She's uh, in down in L.A., and she didn't do the Disney. They shouldn't do the Dodger Stadium. There's another area, some other stadium over there that they use, or some other area. And she said it's like ten minutes. She says there's a lot of cars, but it went like she her car didn't stop once. It just slowly went, and they had enough spots at the very front. So by the time she stopped, bam, 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 and she's gone. Yeah. Well, I wish that were the way oh. it was here. You know, I stood in goddamn line for two hours. And the people who were in back of us probably were winding up spending almost three hours in line. Mm. And then all of a sudden, Thursday, they run out of this stuff. So they got to tell people like my friend Shecky. Um, mm. He gets an email saying, You're, you've been moved to next week. Mm. But here's the strange thing, and I don't know how they did this. I get a note from Shecky today. He gets a phone call from the city of New York saying, we hope you got our email that we've changed your appointment for next to next week. They called him. A human being called him. And I'm thinking, how many tens of thousands of people are being told they're not getting their shot on Thursday? And and they're, they're, they must have a hard time dialing all those numbers. I mean, it must be getting terrible. And it was a person? It wasn't like a... It was a, a person. It was a person. He said a person called me. <laughs> Wow. You know, but and that's uh, that's very nice, but you still right. haven't gotten the shot, you know. But I don't understand why they do things like get to, oh, well, we've got uh, Met Stadium, we're gonna do 24 7 mm -hmm. at Met Stadium, yeah. And what are you gonna put in their arm? Air, <laughs> you know. I mean, why do you go out and get a super site before you don't have super supplies? Makes no sense at all. But, you know, the idea that they were able to do that that fast. I mean, once I got in to get the shot, it was pretty quick. You know, sit down, boom, you're out of here. Go home and uh, answer the email and make an appointment for your next shot, which has to be in, it should be in four weeks. Of course, mine's in five weeks because they were all filled up till five weeks. So why do you tell me I got to do it for four weeks when you haven't got any avail? I mean, it's just it's been so badly administered here in the state of New York. It's it's ridiculous, you know. So what, what, hmm? Go ahead, Alan. What? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyhow, so um, when I got mine, they made me an appointment before I even got the shot for the next time three weeks later because I got the Pfizer shot. Mm -hmm. And I said, boy, you guys are right on top of it. Three weeks to the day. She said, well, that's what the science says. And, you know, that's what everybody's telling us. And not to make it four weeks later or you could lose some of the. They, they say that like with at least with the Moderna, it doesn't matter. 
you know. Yeah, they, well, they, that's they, not how the study works. So, no, we'll the study see. the study says it it how it reads is you must do it no sooner than four weeks. Well, that's how the news puts it. Have you read the study? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I went and looked. I went and looked at. I went to the Moderna and to the Pfizer. No, they website. have they have big signs up saying uh, if you uh, if you're not going to be doing it in in four weeks because you can't get an appointment, don't worry, you can do it later. It's okay. You know, well, it's not. It, yeah, that's, it's not, that's not what the study did, but that's okay. If they if they've if they've decided that's okay, that's okay. Well, I I hope it's okay. Otherwise, what I wasted my time yesterday, and well, I have to get re-inoculated. So, you know. so you know, they were talking about in England pushing it out to twelve weeks. Yes, and the uh, FDA and Dr. Fauci and some of the other specialists said that's not how the study was done. Uh, you know, until we study it, you need to do it at three weeks or at four weeks, and within a day or two, one way or the other, don't do it early, do it, you know, a couple of days later. I imagine your week is probably fine. It's more than a week. It's about, it's about eight but, days. But that's not how the study was done. And that would mean redoing the study again for five weeks. And Moderna's not going to do that. They're just going to take no, a chance. No, no, no. What they have found is that, that uh, you, you know, you certainly are, you, you get, you have it in you, and now you've built up this whole system in you. When you get the second shot, it simply is a booster for the first shot. Being a booster, it doesn't necessarily to have to be, you know, f five, four weeks. It can be five weeks. It can be five weeks in a couple of days, which mine is. Um, if it couldn't be, then I don't think they would be doing it that way here. What they were talking about in England was they wanted to hold back on the second shot for 12 weeks so they had more stuff to put in people's arms so that if they could hold it off and still be able to have the booster be uh, good then uh, uh, they could get a lot more people inoculated and the idea was would you rather have a bunch of people inoculated with 50 percent protection or would you rather n uh, n not have them inoculated at all and that's that's it's 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 a supply and demand problem we're playing with here. I mean, yeah. I thought it was ridiculous when I tried. I mean, and they had signs up in, in the waiting room where we were waiting to see if we went into anaphylactic shock and stuff like that. And they uh, they uh, literally put up a, a sign saying, uh, 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 if you can't make an appointment within, you know, get an appointment within four weeks, which was impossible at that point, okay, uh, you know, uh, five weeks or a little more is okay. It's don't worry. It doesn't change the effectiveness of the. Of they, the they just don't know that they're they're making an assumption. But no, it, you're, no, you're no, probably, no. This you're is no fine. So what, this is the city of New York Health Department who puts up I, these signs. I think they know better than more they than weren't you do. Part of the, they weren't part of the study, and so yeah, I'm just saying. But, that, but they read the science. You know, I would hope so. Yeah, and yeah. and they said, "Don't worry, it's not going to affect the effect of." Well, I read the, I read the science too because I understand that stuff, and the science said three weeks on Pfizer and four weeks. Well, on Well, you know, something. Think about it. Think about it logically. Is that possible? Yeah, absolutely. So, no, no, so no, what, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it possible? Knowing human nature, is it possible? Oh, absolutely. No. So, so no. My, a lot of people. Is, a lot of people will forget it to get it uh, four weeks from now. They might say, say, "Oh, okay, I, I forgot, but I'll get it at six weeks." And uh, absolutely, yeah. And, and so, all so it is, the, all it is, it's a booster. It it takes what you've gotten already and absolutely. boosts it. So that's in your system. If it isn't right. in your except system, for, except for it may it, lower, it may lower the efficiency of it based on. What they know, otherwise they would have said, "How about between four and six weeks, or something like that?" Well, maybe I shouldn't go back for that second shot, then, huh? What's that? Maybe I shouldn't go back for that second shot. No, you definitely should. I just, yeah. but but the studies don't know if you're going to have right. lower after it's all said and done. They the would. Trouble they don't is, know. The trouble is, the studies don't know shit, really. Well, because the problem yeah. is we have rushed this thing out as fast as we possibly could 
and we don't have all the information we should have on this. I so mean, every, had everything I read. For instance, I read you this thing last night, which they, uh, they it was a PDF they passed out in which they said uh, this will not prevent you from getting COVID. It mm -hmm. is uh, just it is assumed that it might. They don't That's they right. don't even say that it's it's. It's a vaccine against it. That's right. And that's why it's only authorized for emergency use at this time. Yeah. The only way they're going to tell is by getting um, it into millions of people's arms and find out if any of those people get COVID again. I was told today, I, I watched uh, television. I watched my Mayor de Blasio today. Go watch him on YouTube. He said exactly what I'm saying. He said... Um, uh, the second dose, sure he, he said the second dose, they had a doctor there. He said the second dose, you can get it, you know, five, six weeks, something like that. And it's not really going to change the equation. Okay. Good. You know, the only problem is you're running around with 50% protection and the sooner you can get 95% protection, which by the way, because I'm 81 years old, I'll probably have more like 90% protection. Right. Um, yeah, we, we do. We do the same thing when when so even gonna, when we have a new I, yeah. even when we have a new product out, we have a certain amount of dating for expiration. Uh, you know, so our product is good for so long on the shelf, so we don't short sell and all that stuff. But we then we do studies afterwards, mm -hmm. uh, trying to do extended dating. But this stuff's rushed out so quickly, and emergency use only. They they don't care about doing any kind of other studies. They just want to get out to the public. Or maybe later yeah. they'll do something. You yeah. know, to see how long it lasts, do some more stuff if they're inclined to. But they, for our company, it, we do it, that all the time. In fact, they don't know, if you want to talk about things they don't know, they don't know how long this is good for. Right. There's no way to they tell. They don't know if the protection is ongoing for several years or whether it's three months. Well, the, the people that they started with in, in the study that got the actual shots they take the date that they got the in, the second injection, and they keep studying those people for four or five years and testing their blood to see how long the antibodies last. I don't and think that, this, that's how they're going to know if it's going to last for a I year. I don't know if this years. exactly causes antibodies. Oh, it has to. No. Otherwise, I think they check their blood for something else. The RMA, what's that stuff called, Brian? Yeah, the, the uh, mRNA. All right. But, our, our, yeah, I remember like even Chris, Chris Como, 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 so he said that, uh, that after he had it, they would test him for the antibodies and see if they're good enough that he wanted, that they wanted them. Right. So not, I don't they, think in every case that they want them. Yeah. But did he have the antibodies? I don't think so. He didn't mention it too much after that. Because, you know, there's so little, it's amazing how little we know about this disease. And this science that's being used to combat it is so new that we don't know how effective it is. We know that it is effective to a point, all right? Mm -hmm. And the question is, again, yeah. would you rather, you know, like England's assumption, would you rather have a bunch of people who are 50% uh, um, 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 you know, not immune, but uh, protected? Or, right. or would you like to, uh, and, and give out more doses? Or would you rather have everybody completely 95% effective and right. not have half those doses for the general public? So that's I, what their thinking's been. I, I understand why England wanted to do that. It's exactly what you said. The trouble is the study didn't do that. And so they only studied, they study 50 or 60,000 people. Half of them get a placebo. The other half get the actual injection. And then they continue to study the people that got the actual injection and they say at three weeks or at four weeks is when we gave the second dose. What they don't know is how long the first dose will last. And so that's why they want the second dose as close as study time and so on and so forth. Because giving everybody a first dose may not, it, it may, may give them 50% uh, a protection, yeah. but only for four or five weeks. It may drop off quickly, and that's why they want the second dose, the booster. The first dose is called a primer, and yeah. the second dose is called booster. Yeah, but the question is, when you get the booster, um, uh, how effective, well, right, how, right, right how, now, how long is that going to stay effective? I mean, that, well, that, that's at, just a at, matter of time. They're testing people right now, mm -hmm. and so. Hopefully it lasts a long time. You know, I feel good right now that after about 12 days, I'm going to be 50% uh, 
uh, protected. I, I agree with you. I'm you the know, same way. It's better than nothing. You know, I got mine. I got mine on yeah. Monday. I, I, I'm totally with you there. Who knows if you get it? Uh, if you get it, uh, how 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 heavy it's going to be? You may get. Yeah, away. they don't. They don't. They don't know that yet because not this was rushed, like Brian said. And so they got it out on emergency use. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so instead of having 30,000 people in the study that got the vaccine, the actual vaccine, now we're injecting it into millions, tens of millions of people, and they get to watch how it, how it reacts. Who knows? Well. One day we may find that the science is so bad that we're going to suddenly realize Trump was right. Bleach does work. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. They call it, they, they, when we were first coming through with our products, they call it disruptive technology. You know, it's going from like a radio to a TV. Yeah. So when we filed for FDA clearance the first time, we spent a lot of time and we had some good people that were working at our company that had some ties with them. So they <clears> worked very well together. That's good. what like the RMNA, the, the mRNA, where it's new and, mm. and with this big a panic for it, you know, that's uh, a lot of stuff we don't know, but like said, it's better than nothing right now. Yeah. Will you get your shot as soon as it's offered to you, Brian? Yep, right when I watch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did your, your your arm hurt a little bit? Mine? Yeah. Yeah, for the first day. Yeah, mine, mine's yeah. been... No big it, deal. It, no, no pain. Claim, no pain. Right. They claim the second shot, the booster kicks your immune system into high gear and um that's when you get side effects usually but they they also claim that people 55 and older tend to have less side effects than people under 55 so oh, really the side effects you and i will get is probably yeah, yeah. less well you'll be getting you're you're the mm -hmm. uh, you're the canary in the coal mine because you're going to you. get your second dose before we go to get our second dose yeah and what about Jeff? He's different. So. I'm uh, next month. The next month. Third or the fourth. Yeah. With all your stuff and your all those foreign well, pieces. I don't of care. I don't care about the side. Hurt in your body. I don't care about the, my uh, um, uh, the COVID anyway. Remember, it's state I've, by state. I, I've got a carbuncle yeah. on my ass. A car yeah, what? what? You know, have you know what a carbuncle is? It's like a bunch no. of little boils. Then all kind of like, yeah, I get them every now and then. I, about once a year, I guess. Well, we talk about anything on this show. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, uh, and I, uh, yeah, carbuncle. So then it's carbuncle it's it's grass. itching and it's it's not not fun. It shouldn't be itching. You got the anti-monkey powder, right? Oh, yeah, I've got the anti-monkey. I've got the monkey powder. I should try the monkey powder on there. Yeah, absolutely. I find it really works. Really? really works. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my, my my friend who listens to the show, he's in New Jersey, and he talks about like people with emphysema, like smokers and stuff, are getting better priority than some other people. Yes, because they have a pre a pre existing condition. So go ahead, folks, go out and smoke. Maybe maybe being an alcoholic helps. You know, <laughs> you know. And then I get this thing from uh, Phil Meyer. He had his. You know, and I'm. Yeah. It, well, I guess he's yeah, 65, today. right? So he fit in that range. But mm -hmm. I hear they're giving it to people just if they come in and say, uh, uh, I've got a coupon. You know, I mean. <laughs> I don't know about uh, that. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm under 65 and I got mine. But I got mine because I volunteer and take care of elderly people. I mean, I consider uh, myself elderly now. But, mm. but you know, people in their 80s in, in, in long-term mm -hmm. care homes, and my doctor said, nah, Kaiser's not going to, which I had, not going to allow you to do that. And so I wrote to, uh, an email to Kaiser Member Services and said, this is what I do, volunteering. Mm -hmm. and, and they said, you should have got your shot three weeks ago. Why didn't your doctor approve it? And I said, I really don't want to get into it between you and my doctor. If I can get it, please make it happen. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I was, yeah. although I'm fat. You know, like 300 pounds, and that's not good. That's a comorbidity. Oh, there is it and, ever. Yeah. And, absolutely. And so, but I'm more concerned because, I, I, you know, I wear a mask and hand sanitizer and everywhere I go, but I'm more concerned about these patients that I take care of and I get a vaccine right away is what they said. So that, that worked out. But if it didn't, if they said, no, you've got to be full-time employed or whatever, I would have said, okay, no problem. I'll just continue to wear a mask. Now, now here's the thing. Here's the thing that pisses me off about New York. How fast was it for you to get it? 
Uh, two days. No, no, no. When you went in. Oh, I, I walked in. I filled out a card, uh, the, the, you know, the CDC card. Mm -hmm. I took it to the next lady. The next lady uh, made my next appointment. I went in. Uh, within three months, I had a shot. You have to sit there for 15 minutes to make sure you don't have any anaphylactic shock. Yeah. And I walked out. Meanwhile, we were standing out in freezing cold weather for two hours. That's what they make jackets for. In fact, in fact, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> when, when we were there We're waiting in line, the when we were there waiting in line, this uh, this the truck pulls up and a guy gets out with a camera, and he shoots <coughs> us. Okay, uh, all waiting in line. So tonight we're watching the CBS Evening News. There you are. Well, I couldn't tell whether I was there. I couldn't freeze it right, but. It was that school. It was that shot they were taking. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Hey, you are somebody again. Oh, yeah, I'm a star. <laughs> I, see your, I see your Facebook thing. I love it. I used to be somebody. Yeah. It's and, a great cabin and, shot. And, and Alex Bennett mm -hmm. is seen on CBS News. Don't blink. Yeah, really. you, know. you should have had your Trump mask on. Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't, I tried to freeze it, and I couldn't freeze it. I may go back and try and find the story somewhere and freeze frame it and see if I can find me. Marjorie's there with a big smile on her face, I, I, but they yeah. didn't get you in the picture. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it was just, it was, it was hell. I mean, we were freezing our asses off. And Marjorie goes, Isn't oh. Isn't like right around the corner for you? Yeah, it was like a block and a half away. Why, why couldn't you wait in your house until, I mean, <laughs> Well, These people don't. Uh, well, I it. was They're... I was so cold I didn't wear the proper jacket. I wore a jacket I figured I could wear in that weather and get to there and just walk in and be warm, right? Right. But I right. didn't realize I was going to have to stand out there. So Marjorie stayed in the line and I left and I went home. I took a pee, just in case, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, put on a, my bigger winter jacket and then went back. And she had moved about twenty five feet. <laughs> You know. Wow. So uh, I was going to say, no, I didn't have to get in line. I just stepped outside my front door, and that was the end of the line. Well, it was 70 degrees <laughs> outside, and I didn't have to wait outside. It was in there. I mean, but I mean, it, it's just, it, it to me, I, read a, I wrote a letter to the city like they care. Good. You know, I wrote a letter to the city saying this is, a, this is unconscionable because, you right. know, the people who are primed to get this shot are older people. And to have them stand out there in that weather. That's sad. You know, for that That's many sad. hours. And they went, well, we were late getting started today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. is that an excuse? No. You know, why didn't everybody show up on time? <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, so. Uh, well, at least you got your shot. That's my you car. Yeah. Char Char Charlie, where are you going to get yours? Is it they doing a stadium deal or are they doing the hospital or what? Turn on your mic, Charlie. Hey, Turn on your mic. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, I was coughing. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that, there's two places in, in Austin where you can go. That's all. Just two places. They won't wow. send them to doctor's offices or anything like that. So it's two big mass places and you got to go. Everybody's got to go there. Uh, is, oh, it, wow. is it supposed to be pretty fast? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard anything. I don't know anybody here in Austin that's had a shot except for my doctor, and he had it there at his office. Wow. You know, we huh. talk about the the uh, the uh, uh, this flu shot being ninety five percent effective if you have the second shot, fifty percent effective if you don't. And I and then I started to think to myself, aren't the normal yearly flu shots only about fifty percent effective? If you're lucky. If you're lucky, yeah. 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 So, you yeah. know, to have something that's 95%, you're pretty lucky. So if I'm 50%, you know, what does that mean, 50%? Like if somebody has COVID coughs in my face, I have a 50% chance of getting it? I guess. I don't yeah, know. I guess. 5%. That's how I take it. And how do they know these statistics? I mean, how do they know, you know? Uh, if you go back to the studies... You'll yeah. see that they took the people that got the placebo and the people that actually got the vaccine, and the the, the even Moderna or Pfizer don't know the people in the study group who got what. Yeah, it's called double blind study. Right, statisticians and 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 uh, doctors and scientists they know who got it, but they don't know the people. So anyhow, they 
they follow up with everybody at these studies, just like everybody got it, even the placebo. And so they go back and look at the, so they took, say, say they took 60,000 people, half got the placebo, half didn't. Yeah. And so they look at how many people in the placebo group got COVID versus how many people in the vaccine group got COVID. And they can, they can they, like, I think out of the 30,000 in the Pfizer one, only like uh, seven ended up getting COVID. Mm -hmm. And in the placebo group, it was like 27 or something like that. And so they do some kind of statistics that I don't understand. Wow. And that's how they figure out the efficiency of it. Yeah. Well, we got the, we got the Johnson and Johnson coming up soon. That's supposed to be a one injection thing. That might be your next booster a year or two down the road. Well, I, I, my booster has to be Moderna. It can't be Pfizer. No, no, this time it does, but you know how, you know how, like, when you get a flu shot, you really don't know what brand you're getting or whatever two years down the road, a year down the road, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they have a yearly uh, COVID shot, too. A yearly COVID shot? Oh, good. Yeah. I can wait yeah. in line wait for another two hours. They just they just don't know at this point because there's not enough time is going on. Let them get the first by shot. By that out. time, by that time, it'll be at Walgreens and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing, Fauci. I like him talking now that, that – He's he the bill that that Biden signed also start talking talking about the raw materials and making sure that that other companies have good capacity, but they're also going down to the raw material level, which is really really important. Really, yep. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Um, but uh, it it's um, you know uh, it's it's amazing what's uh, going on. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But our president today uh, was signing. Uh, I think he was getting writer's cramp. <laughs> yeah. Um, try here. Here's what the Republicans are griping about. Ready for this? He can't write all those executive orders. Well, wait a minute. They're, they're executive orders to do away with executive orders that Trump wrote. Absolutely. Yep. He he. Then, what? We have to go to Congress to get these things reversed. But all he didn't have to go to Congress to be able to. All he had to do was write them up. And, and do you see that Mitch McConnell wants the Congress to agree if they want their help, that the Republicans helping in the Senate, that they've got to make the vote instead of a majority, make it 60 percent. Oh, well, that's fine. But fuck you. We've got that's, the we've got the majority and we'll take a little right. vote here. OK, they, when you're they, odd they, voted. They, you know. they played that game with Obama and, and, you know, and Obama lost out the last couple of years of his thing couldn't get anything well, done because, because they had because they had a, a republican majority at that time but now they don't anymore they've got a, the a, 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 even steven plus one on That's our right. side you know i say screw the republic so mitch go take a hike you know that's right go back to your turtle factory yeah in kentucky <laughs> but i was his I, wife's I, his Huh? His wife's not bad for older Asian lady. I don't know what she sees in him. Well, it's that that turtle look. She likes turtles. She's Asian, and they they she was born in the year of the turtle. And um, uh, it, 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 it's good luck. Oh, I get luck. it now. It's good luck. Good luck. Yeah, luck. yeah, yeah. The bigger the turtle, the better. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah. yeah, she showed. They showed her one time a long time ago. I saw her. I said Mitch McConnell's wife. I said, "Oh my God, yeah, what the hell?" But I don't understand them. I mean, all, all of a sudden, it, all the things that he did, we can't do. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just the, you know he go, should goes be, back it, to the Supreme Court justice too. You know, uh, Obama couldn't couldn't get his in that tighter window, and then you know they go turn around and get theirs in it, even a tighter window. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, here's here's a good story. Hold on, let me see if I can get her name. I'm trying to find her name. Uh, but, 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 where is it? Where where am I? Where's my history? Oh, here's my history. There we go. There we go. Hold on a second. Uh, so we see the right history you're bringing up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm bringing up my history from my... Um, let me see here. Show full history. Is this... Yeah, is this like going all the way down? 
here. What are we? Uh, I'm looking. How old is Mitch McConnell? Well, what happened was I found that this. I saw this woman on he, TV today on Fox or something like that, or, or uh, uh, what do you call it? one? And she is from Colorado, and she is a congresswoman. And uh, she is, uh, let me see here. Uh, Bob, Bobbert or Bobbert yes, or whatever? Yes, what's her name? Do you know it? Bobbert, I think. Bobbert or something something like that. It's close to it. We're, we're getting close. The one that packs a gun in Congress? She's the one that packs a gun oh. in Congress, and she is part of, are you ready, part of a militia. Yeah. Okay. She's known to hang out with militias. And guess who was the person taking people around the Capitol the days before the uh, insurrection. Oh, she was one of them, yeah. Wow. She was it. And the yeah. problem with it is she's hot. <laughs> you know? And you think see? if you had to come up with a, stay with the name Bobber. Bobber? Is it Bobber? See, 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 see if you can find her name, uh, uh, Charlie, um, because I'd like to show people a picture of her. Um Let's see. All right, Brian. How old is Mitch McConnell? You asked, sir. Seventy-eight. Oh, Bob, Bob, Bobert. Seventy-eight. Bo oh, okay. Okay, Bobert. Here's her name, Bobert. Trying to see how yeah, old was Reckless. Wait a minute. L represented Lauren Bobert. Um, and um, uh, let me see here. Well, there's not a picture of her. Where's He's it? probably gotten a lawyer by the now. congresswoman. Well, here's yeah, she, she is pretty hot, standing there with that. Here's a, here's a, here's one picture of her. See that, folks? Right. There she is. There's one picture of her, and let me see. Oh yeah, can... yeah, yeah. Looks just like Charlie. Why did why does she have to be hot? I can't. Where, stand where's it. the picture? You know, I cannot stand it. Um, Does anybody see the picture? I don't see her. You have to go to the YouTube. Oh, oh yeah, that's multitasking. I don't yeah. do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> here, oh, here we go. Here is a good picture of her. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Everybody, look at this. She, I mean, with her gun. She's got a gun in this picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I uh, see that now. Yeah, and uh, she, uh, she's, uh, she's, um, she's hot. I hate it. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to have her <laughs> in my spank bank. You know, and and and. Uh, if I keep this picture up much longer, she will be. So let me get out of that. Phase. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's yep. uh, she's very attractive. Has a nice rack on her. All right, what type of gun does she have? Let's get real. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Are you, you good at guns? Yeah, I guess. I don't if, know. If can, uh, Had them pointed at me, fired at me, and I trained with Phil. Yeah, we both shoot guns. So yeah. I wonder if there's a sh picture of her with a gun oh, out. Yeah. But uh, she packs, and um, she uh, uh, she also hangs out with militia people, and she supposedly was the congressperson who was leading people around in Congress. Oh, they ought to fire her. Fire her? They ought to arrest yeah, her. Yeah, lock her up. Yeah. Indict her. Did the, you see that the FBI that. put out a, a 10 most wanted just for the capital it was it was uh, i posted it on facebook if you look guys look at your facebook any like a couple of you the three three people on there yeah uh, have me on facebook it, it there's a picture that the fbi posted of people they're looking for that assaulted or aided in the killing of a capital police officer and all that other stuff that they did there yeah boy so the fbi is is now has the power they want instead of Trump having them on a leash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. I hope somebody identifies these people and uh, they go to prison or worse. I think one of the guys who uh, killed somebody is from Connecticut. I don't know him. Yeah, I think really? you're right. I think you're right. Well, you, what, you know everybody in Connecticut? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I love it. I, I have a friend who lives in Connecticut. You know him? <laughs> so I don't oh excuse me boy that cup of coffee went down wrong um, so you can probably look on the FBI's website um, I got it and, and I'm on my laptop I don't know if I can get it but I get a I got it through a police magazine that sends me a 
you know, the good, the good things the cops are doing, the bad things and everything in between every day. And about. so, unless I went to my Facebook page, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see it. Um, let's oh. see here. Uh, I, uh, well, wait a minute. Most wanted persons. Uh, FBI most wanted yeah. in the Capitol. You remember when I was a kid, the FBI's 10 most wanted was like this game you played all the time. You remember this? They used to always publish it, and uh, they had TV radio shows where they said, uh, so-and-so's, uh, here's the 10 most wanted list for this week, you know? And uh, then uh, that kind of disappeared, but it looks like they kind of brought it back because there are 10 people here, and it says mm -hmm. most wanted. Uh, what most wanted fugitives, uh, Arnaldo Jimenez, I guess. Uh, most wanted terrorist, Hassan Ease Aldin. They now have a category. Mm. Best picture, best actress, you know. <laughs> um, crimes against children, Gustavo Cruz. Cruz. Or, wow. uh, let's see here. Violent crimes and murders. Uh, Manuel Bergen Galavan. There's a lot of Latinos in there, isn't there? You know something? There is not one black person. Yeah, and the world, yeah. all, all the Trump people blame the blacks for everything that went wrong in this Yep. Country. Kidnappings and missing persons. Matthew Allen Mullaney. Uh, parental kidnappings. What's a parental kidnapping? That's where a That's husband where and a wife separate and a husband oh. takes the kid with yeah. him or something like that. Oh, okay, well, this is a, this is a woman, Rico, Rico, Rico Nakata, Greenberg Collins. That's your full name. White collar crimes. Daniel Guzman. Now I see a picture of this guy, and I'll, I'll show you, folks. You can you can see him. Um, Is he a white guy? Huh? No, Is he a white he, guy? he's not a white guy. Last Guzman. name of Guzman. Yeah. But but here he is. If you can see him, folks, right down here. I think my my arrow is showing it, and he, he doesn't look like he would be a white collar anything. I don't see anything there, Alex. Yeah. Does anybody see Alex's? No, you're, you're not, not going to see your phone. Yeah. You're not, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I, you're not going to see the pictures. Oh, uh, there we go. I yeah, could okay. do it, There's but the they, it's a whole complicated deal, and I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. No, 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 no. God forbid you should have fun. Yeah, that uh, girl's cute. The girl is cute? The one on the bottom? Oh, yeah. You're, yeah, you're, uh, you, yeah, you're, you, um, you, you have yellow fever, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's what they used to call it uh let me see here seeking information assault okay on a so here oh here we go here we go here's the fbi seeking i hate this cheap camera here we go <laughs> this is a whole page of people they're looking for from the yep. seeking information assault on federal officers and yeah. violence at the at the U.S. United States Capitol, and they got ten people. They all look like no. Republicans. Oh, these aren't ten people. This is like, uh, let's see here. This one has a, 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 a what? A ten people. There are about ten people a panel, and there yeah. are about there. Are how many of these panels? Uh, oh wow! Yeah, uh, ten people on each panel, so it's fifth, five across. That'd be fifty. Oh. And then a hundred. There's a hundred people here, like here, right here. You see? Oh yeah, they have violence. Violence at the United States Capitol. Yep. 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 And that's the ones they're looking for. Yep. I am sending this to Alex and Brian. A picture of it. A picture of what? Of the the the, the of the Capitol, the, the FBI bulletin. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. and Charlie. But if you just go the, you if, they, if you just go to the FBI site, and the the fifth thing down or the uh, tenth thing down, <coughs> is seeking information for assault on federal officers. You double click on that, and it gives you about a hundred people. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a reward? And then also yeah. over here, wait a minute, let me let me go back to that. Yeah, we page. get to lock up some oh, uh, some Republicans. Over here, folks, it this this is like suspected pipe bombs in Washington, DC. This is a guy like it's a picture of a yeah, guy they're... wearing a mask. You know, what's terrible about this now is that because of the COVID, people yeah. people are wearing masks to commit crimes. Yeah. You know. 
But it's a guy with a mask on. You couldn't couldn't possibly tell who he is by this picture. Yeah. But he's suspected of the pipe bombs in Washington, D.C. Yeah, but I was going to say, have they caught any of the guys that did the bombs at the RNC and DNC? Well, that's what they're. That's what this is. Yeah. Uh, this is the bombs in Washington D.C. And I think it was at the R. Uh, which uh, one was it? The FBI that are they're, they're looking for these ten people that I sent to to Alex and to to Charlie and to Brian. Sorry, I don't have your information, uh, Jeffrey. But uh, none of them have a mask on, so they must all be Republicans. You know. <laughs> No, no good Democrat would have been involved in that to start with. Right. None of them right. are black, you know, and, and, and the media wants to blame blacks and Black Lives Matter for this whole thing yeah. at the Capitol. No. Come on. No. Uh, most of the people who are there, in the, are there any black people there that you saw on that, on that list? Just the officer that saved Pence from being no, 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 no. killed, no. probably. Do you know that on they, the list? No. Not on the no. list, nope. Do you know nope. the guy who who chase, who ran up the stairs and got those guys to chase him to get him away from Pence? And That's then, right. You know they met up with a cordon of policemen. Uh, he's mm -hmm. been made the head of security at the at the Capitol. Yeah, I saw. Oh, that. really? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah. Good. He did. Yeah. He was he, he was a motivated. true hero. He was. Yeah. He was a terrific hero. I I don't care what race he was. He was a true hero. Yeah. You know, and he happened to be black, and all all the better. Was as he far black? As I didn't notice what color he was. You know, um, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. So he was the one that escorted uh, Kamala Harris down to, to get her uh, to say her oath. Oh, well, did they re specifically request him for that? Yes. Yeah. That yeah. was a that was an honor given to him for his heroism. I mean, what he. <laughs> When I saw first saw that, I said, "This is almost like a bad comedy, mm. you know, in which he's like egging these people on, and he's pushing yeah. at them, and he's pushing, and then they chase him. He starts running, so they'll chase him, and they they're like goofballs, right? You know, so yeah. they start chasing him, and they chase him, and finally he gets into this hallway, and there's a whole cordon of police standing there. Yeah." Wah, 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 wah. I, I'm sorry. I think I think they should have just opened fire on some of these people. That a lot of the people behind the first couple of people that got shot would decide to probably go the way they got into the building and get out as quick as you could. Well, you know, I don't hope they. I, I, I a lot of people say they should have just shot them. Okay, and while I have a certain sympathy with that, I I don't believe in it because. That's not the way we run things in this country, you know. Oh. Uh, yes, they, it, so, if you're white, it is. Somebody was I'm stealing yeah. Nancy Black. Pelosi's podium, which is a funny photo op. I got to tell you, yeah, that was great. Yeah, this guy carrying but, the. Now, what he do didn't do? have a mask on. What do you do? Do you shoot him? Uh, no, he's leaving the building, not, not for a property yeah. crime. Yeah. But if he's threatening the police, or if he's threatening to get into the chamber where Congress is doing their job. And who knows if he's going to these people. Some of them had knives and stuff. Absolutely. How many of you here saw the New Yorker video uh, that was taken with a guy from New Yorker magazine who went in with a camera and literally was with them in the, uh, in the, what, the Congress or whatever? No. Uh, when they were raging around well. there. And the there was the guy. Remember the guy in the pictures who had like the uh, the plastic cuffs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was saying, "Now, everybody, calm down. Don't do anything. It's going to make us look bad, you know. And we're, we we really should get out of here because we are not supposed to be here." I mean, he That's was right. trying. He was actually trying. He was the only guy with some common sense about mm. the optics of the situation. Yeah. Was he with his mom? No. No, that no, no was there was the no, guy there, with the horn. There was another guy. There was a guy yeah, there with no, his No, no, no. There was another guy with the, with the zip ties, and he was going over that bench thing. The lady who was behind him was his mom. Oh, really? Well, the family who uh, um, yeah. <laughs> writes together. Riots together, stays together. <laughs> stays together, yes. Yeah, there were yeah, several no. guys that had the zip ties. Yeah, the zip ties in the police business are called flex cuffs. Yeah. And yeah. Riots. So you don't run out of metal handcuffs. You probably the only way you can get those things off is by cutting them off, right? 
Absolutely, they make a thing yeah, so you don't you're not going to stamp them. them. No. In other words, you can't uh, you can't you can't reverse them or you know. No, no, it's, they're basically and, heavy duty wire ties. No, they were heavy. Yeah, they're heavy duty wire ties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, a lot of these bad guys were carrying them. Not sure what their intent was, but you know, when uh, somebody's squirming around, you're not going to get these things on them unless you really know what you're doing. Yeah, well, these so. these people were, uh, you know, so. well, they were prepared. I mean, they, I mean, there was vandalism. Oh, oh, oh this the federal building. Yeah, all the people that made it into the building will probably be charged with murder of the police officer, even though they didn't actually. Oh, oh, at one point, they were rifling through Ted Cruz's desk. Yeah, and they were taking photographs of stuff in his folder, and then they said, "Look here, this was what he was going to say." Blah 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 blah. He was going to sell us down the, the, you know, up the creek. I, I he, wish they had taken gonna, he him. Was, he was going to sell us out, and all of a yeah. sudden they're like mad at Ted Cruz. They should have taken him. That would have been good. Uh, I wouldn't hmm. have missed him. You know. No, neither would I. And he was on TV tonight, just being the same pissed, pissy horrible Ted Cruz self. Well, how's yep. he, how, how's the reaction to him lately in, uh, in Texas? Are the newspapers still asking for him to resign? Well, nobody's changed their mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's like, uh, um, you know, they're asking him to, res people, the newspapers are asking him to resign in Texas and he, Good. well, he should, he's a, you know, he's an asshole. He's a <laughs> real gold plated asshole. You bet. You uh, know, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start keeping track. Okay, so I said that that mal malaria and Don will be still be together six months later, but you won't see them after yesterday together. Malaria. Ah. So I'm I'm gonna start tracking, and I haven't seen them the last 24 hours together. So I'm gonna start Melania tracking. Uh, are to they, see uh, if are there any pictures of together. him in uh, in? Uh, what do you call it? Mar a Lago. It, it, yeah, yeah, you know, just the, not the one on the beach. And they I, weren't together. That was the one I put out. <laughs> no, don't show that one again. Um, uh, no, Sorry. But, but is there any word on on um, anything that he's doing, or did he just disappear from sight? Just disappeared, and and they're not together. So I hope I don't see them together. What do you mean they're not together? Well, the no, TV I just stations see aren't covering them. Yeah, exactly. We're we're not seeing him, so we're not seeing them together. So, like I said, we, we won't see them together again. I I I hope for her sake we're not. You know, um, I think I think she's pretty fed up. You know, her whole her whole reputation as a as a whore has been ruined. Uh, <laughs> There was a shot of them before they went on to Marine One where he, they turned around and they stopped for pictures and he let go of her hand and then, you know, he did the wave, but his other hand was still there. And yeah. it's like, really? I, why, why do you let go of your, her hand? I mean, the stupid, I, yeah. stupid little stuff like that you see in a relationship. Oh, there was a, that there was, shows you, yeah. There was a shot of him recently getting out of a limousine and not waiting for her to get out. He just went straight for the door. He just ignored her. Yeah. You know. I I love I love where where Trump's first visit. Wait to a minute. He's not president anymore. We don't have to talk about him. <laughs> Go ahead. What were What's you saying? His name again? No, I just just did he 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 went to um shake hands with Angela Merkel and she walked right by him and went to say <laughs> hi to her to the wife or something like that. When the first time he took a trip after he became well, his president. best his best picture was at that the big uh, big six or big thirteen or whatever the one yeah and he gets there are a whole bunch of people having a picture taken and he gets into it by pushing people aside yeah he pushes everybody else to pushes everybody away get up front <laughs> so your favorite is when he's walking up up the stairs to Air Force One and he had the toilet paper on his <laughs> that was great we're not how can you there. not. By that the way, we're like, finishing off the show tonight with Donald Trump's greatest hits. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, the funny thing about that is nobody told him. Nobody, yeah. No, everybody just let him go right up there with the toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he, um, he uh, what was I was thinking? I had something I wanted to say about him. 
Yeah. It's like walking around with your zipper down and your friends don't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're an asshole. Right. Yeah, right. the toilet paper is well, the same Well, it's like nobody thing. wanted to tell Pence he had a fly on his head for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, yeah. Here's what happens if you if they if people like you. Here's what I found out years ago when I was doing TV: be nice to your crew, be oh, aces yeah. with your crew, because they're gonna watch out for you. They're gonna they're gonna be so if something's wrong, like I had a fly on my head, they would tell me. <laughs> okay, but if you're an asshole, nobody tells you anything. That's right. I think the fly won that uh, that debate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah. debate. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, the thing is that uh, that uh, Trump. Uh, well, Trump's in for a world of hurt. So, you know, I mean, forget about forget about the the, the you know the uh, impeachment and all of that. He's in mm -hmm. for a world of hurt. There, there's mm -hmm. going to be so much yeah. legal action against him. And that's the reason he wanted to be president again more than anything else was his protection. Absolutely. It kept Absolutely him shielded protected. from prosecution. Yep. You know. I totally agree. So, totally. I mean, it's it's not going to be pretty for him. But I'm sure Phil, if I talked to him, said, well, we're just, we're just trying to get even with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. Absolutely. Absolutely. For what he did I'm sure he's watching the show. How many people dead tonight, Charlie? Yeah, another four thousand dead day, four two thousand, days in a row. Four thousand forty-five. We're up to yeah. four hundred nine thousand six hundred sixty-seven, and I lay that at the feet of Donald Trump. Yeah, that these, sure. this is something. If he had been effective immediately, as soon as they saw this thing happening, uh, uh, the yeah, people would still have died. There's no question about it, and it still would have spread to a certain extent, but not like this. We have one quarter of all the deaths in the world, yep. and we only represent 5% of the population of the world. Yep. Does not speak well of us at all. No. One, one last funny note is, have you seen all the Bernie, all the Bernie memes pop up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so bad for Bernie. He fell asleep or something? No, he's just how he's sitting, sort of, and he was by, he was by himself, you know, some yeah, people all by in couples or groups, yeah. and he's just sort of there all by himself, and they've just blown up everywhere. It's so funny. His his wife didn't come to him? No, no, I didn't see her. Yeah. Just there. Yeah, yeah. Ted Cruz was there. The nerve uh, of that. Really? Yeah, the nerve of that. And, of course, the big the big star of the show now is that poet. And she yeah. was terrific. Yeah. She, was, yeah. she yeah. was just terrific. She really was. Yeah. Ted uh, Cruz was there because somebody had to make sure that the toilet paper was full in the porta potties. Yeah, I guess something like that. <laughs> Jeez, Almighty! Ah, what a world we. Well, you know something. It's just that uh, today I'm watching MSNBC, and everybody just looks a little happier. Yeah. And when I saw a picture, yeah. they showed a picture of the White House. It somehow looks cleaner. Yes. It, yeah. It, it doesn't look dingy. Okay. There's a dog there now too. Yeah, and what they did not not yet. They've got to uh, do a few things to dog-proof the White House for the dogs, but the dogs are coming. And, but, I mean, it was just, everybody was so happy today. Everybody was so light. They felt so good. And the fact is that they did um, uh, go through the White House and fumigate it. Oh, sure. Yep. They had it completely fumigated. They did it within the five hours while the inauguration was going on. Oh, yeah. He's still using the same curtains. I wish he'd get rid of those gold curtains. But otherwise, everything else is gone, including the K-Cups. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen. You know, this hasn't been a large citizen panel, but it, we've had a nice little discussion here. We've had some fun tonight. Yeah. Alan, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you to Charlie. Always good having you here, Charlie. Uh, thanks to uh, Brian Neary and, of course, to the lovely and attractive uh, Jeff who if he wasn't here, it wouldn't be a show. You know, he, he fills out the panel. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. All right, goodbye. See you later. Okay, and uh, now get lost. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see them all probably again tomorrow night. Hopefully we'll have a larger citizen panel. Some of that Monday panel we get at 4 o'clock in the afternoons, we get like like 15 people on it. It's huge. But anyway, for those of you who didn't call, eh, talk to you. 
And for those who did, I really appreciate the fact that they did. And to the people who normally call and they couldn't call tonight, I, I'm not pointing my finger at you, okay? There we go. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, be safe out there and wear a mask. Bye.